All right, we're live on Facebook and YouTube right here from the Paul Revere House. And I'm Emily Holmes. I'm the education director here at the Revere House, and I'm joined by Dr. Robert Shimp. Robert Shimp. I'm the research and adult program director here at the Revere House, and we're very excited to be coming to you on multiple platforms through a new uh, new service we're trying out here. As we continue to test our broadcasting capability, we are, appreciate all of your patience. As we're, we're getting used to these new technological forms, and we're getting really excited for our upcoming fall lecture series. Yeah, so it's uh, coming up not next week, but the week after, as we've uh, discussed a little bit, kind of that wonky uh, calendar this year where Labor Day is the latest, so I think late. it possibly could be, yeah, I think, right? Latest it possibly could be, I think, on the calendar. So uh, the lectures are pushed back a, a, a week from when they typically start this year, but we're going to be running on uh, Tuesdays at 6.30 p.m. on September 15th, 22nd, and 29th. Um, so starting up in about a, a, a week and a half, looking at uh, climate history, climate change in Boston and in three distinct periods. So we're really excited about the, the timeliness of the, uh, of the content. And we're really excited to be looking at these distinct periods to, to, to think about and see how these discussions have, um, you know, have taken place over, over not just recent times, but over, over centuries in Boston. Yeah, we're really excited that we are um, going to be able to talk about these topics that are always of interest to us and to our visitors. I mean, I think those of us who talk about life in the 18th century, you know, and, and big weather events are certainly something that we talk about, like the, the snow hurricane of 1804 comes up a lot when we talk about Paul Revere's life. Um, but even just the idea that they were in sort of what we call like a little ice age at the time, right, that Revere was alive. So we're we're... I think all of us who work here are excited to, to learn more about this kind of history. It's something that is really relevant to the lives of the people that we study and that we're interpreting here. Absolutely, and especially from that point then, bringing it to, to where we are now, we're really excited about the, the last lecture, which will feature a panel discussion with uh, Zoe Davis uh, for the Boston uh, City. Uh, she's the uh, Climate Resiliency Coordinator for Boston. Uh, Amy Longsworth for the Green Ribbon Commission doing a, so much great work on on uh, climate change and climate um, planning in Boston. And then our uh, own executive director, Nina Zanieri, will will be in the discussion as well to bring some, uh, you know, contemporary uh, relevance to historic sites and, and you know, what what's the sort of planning that we're doing? What are some of the questions we're asking in, in, in this period as well? So we're giving you both the history, which is what we do and, you know, who we are as an organization, but trying to bring some of the, uh, uh, some of that contemporary relevance and, and, and to the, to the discussions as well. Yeah. I'm really looking forward to it. I hope other people are as well. Right. So we'll, um, so we'll, uh, continue on with this platform and I think we're, we're up and running. So we'll be, um, be scheduling this. So, so look out for some of our, um, promotional materials that'll be, uh, coming out very soon. Um, if you are watching this and want to learn more um, about the series, um, you can absolutely check out our, our Facebook, our YouTube pages, which you know where they are, our, our um, website as well. And we'll be um, starting up a new uh, emailing list as well. So you can always send us an email um, to our staff account, staff at paulrevierhouse.com or .org, and we'll um, uh, be uh, happy to include you in, in the future mailings that, that we'll be doing for the lecture series and our other great events here. And there's a spot on the website as well, I think, to sign up for that mailing list. Great. Thanks. So so we'll um, look forward to, uh, yeah, we'll look forward to seeing you all in a couple of weeks. Absolutely. All right. Sounds great. See you then.